Hi. It's been a burden on my heart for a while. People disrespectfully speaking about our sacred pipes that we use in prayer. And the things that they say, like smoke them peace pipe, or you, you uh, smoke uh, marijuana in there, or you put drugs in there. Uh, no, sorry to disappoint your sorry face, but, you know, what we put in there is tobacco. Or we use a, a blend of uh, herbs that um, and, and root that is, um, we either have the wachasha or we have the kinikinik. Um, it depends on what region you are you are in and These pipes are not used for recreational They are used purely for spiritual purpose to send prayers to the Creator And it's time that stupid people learn this instead of being idiots and, and thinking Oh, you Indians, man, you guys know how to live, you know. Well, at one time, I was doing a Columbus Day protest in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And uh, I had the smudge shell out, and I had a sage in there burning. And there come a bunch of people down the street, of uh, skateboarders. And they're all like, um, all of a sudden, they stop. They're like, oh. I'm like, hey, come on over. And they're like, yeah, it smells good out here. I'm like, yeah, yeah. They're like, is that for real? I'm like, yeah, it's for real. You see it, don't you? And they're like, oh, that's so cool. I said, you know, us Indians, I said, we, 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 we know how to party. I said, we don't mess around like you guys roll little joints up and, and smoke those things. We take it by the handfuls and we put it in the smudge shell and we light it up and we, we cleanse the air with it. And they look, they're like, oh, wow. I said, here, try some. So I held a bowl and, and uh, the boy went and he's, I said, rub it all over your face too. Rub the smoke, rub the smoke. He's rubbing it and he's putting it all over him. And, and I'm like, yeah, that, that'll make you feel good. That'll make you feel real good. Then the other kids come up and they start doing it. So I ended up with five or six kids that got smudged and they didn't even know what the hell was happening. Um, and then finally I explained to them that it wasn't marijuana, that it was sage and it was used in sacredness um, to send the smoke to the Creator for our prayers. But that night was a memorable night, memorable night because it was in protest to uh, Columbus coming here. Um, Actually, not here to the United States, but coming to the Americas, down in the Dominicans, um, and and starting the domino effect of destroying the indigenous people of this side of the world. Columbus was a big benefactor in that. He's not a hero. He actually was a very bad man, a murderer, a rapist, uh, a child abuser. Um, child murderer, um, slave trader. He was not a good person at all, but yet somehow somebody who was non-Indian and European descent here in the Americas decided Columbus needed a holiday to recognize him as a saint or some kind of really important person. Hell, let's give Charles Manson one of those days. Let's give John Wayne Gacy one. Let's give Jeffrey Dahmer one. Let's give Adolf Hitler one. They deserve it too. They were bad people. Let's give George Armstrong Custer one. He murdered Indian women and children, the elders. He actually cut babies out of the women's bellies. Yeah. Real good heroes. Those are the kind of people that we really like to look up to. Well, I hold this pipe because I'm speaking in a good way about this. And yes, I'd love to just, just go back in time and, and, and wreak havoc, but I can't do that. What I can do is educate people. These 
pipes are not for recreational use. These pipes are used in times of prayer. Some people refer to them as a peace pipe, which is a... It, 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 that sounds to me like someone taking their fingernails down a chalkboard. If you people know what a chalkboard is anymore. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It, um, it kind of bothers me when they call it a peace pipe because... To me, that sounds like hippie days. Not happy days, hippie days. Smoke them peace pipe. Oh, yeah. Sure. No. In all seriousness, the pipe was used during times of peace. And it was smoked by our people and shared with the white man. In a way. To seal a bond. To seal a word of honor. An oath that none of the white men have ever kept to this date from smoking from the sacred pipes. That's a shame. But then again, they can't even keep their word when they swear upon their own Bible. So how would they ever be able to keep their word smoking from a sacred chinupa? Or sacred Vogan. They couldn't do it. It's a difference between cultures. The good and the bad. And. I just wanted to share that with you. So that you would know. That this is not a toy. This is a very sacred item. Instrument of prayer. It is used in a very sacred way. And we do not abuse them. I'm sorry for that interruption there. But anyhow, I just wanted to share. Thank you. Have a good day.